Hi everybody, this is Matthew Pose of Pose Acoustics. So KRUKRLVHW79N, uh, who, who gave $9.99, said, Thanks for your channel. We have a non-ideal speaker set up for a living room home theater. All in-ceiling speakers except for a floor sub. I can't make any changes to the placement. Which of these correction platforms seems to deal with non-ideal systems best? Sony, Odyssey, or Dirac? Sadly, Trinov and Storm are too expensive. Uh, none of them. So unfortunately, when you've got situations like this, where you've put the speakers in the ceiling, um, there's no way to change the perceived sound field in a meaningful way that's gonna make it sound like a proper theater. It's a compromise setup by design. Now, that doesn't mean you can't have an enjoyable experience with it, but you're not gonna be able to ever make it sound like a properly set up theater with speakers at the right locations. Now, having said that, Odyssey and Dirac have nothing that's able to correct for the spatial properties of a system in the ceiling. Sony actually has introduced some technology that's somewhat similar to the 3D remapping that's provided by Trinov. While I played with it, I don't have a system that's all in the ceiling. Um, I did find that it was able to perform some tricks that helped. Here's the problem that I think you're going to run into. In order for any of these systems, whether it's Trinov or Sony, to do this trick, it needs some other speakers in better locations to help trick the ear into perceiving sound as coming from a different location. Um, in order to do that, typically the Sony system would rely on either another center channel that is at the TV, which I'm guessing you can't do, or it uses the speakers built into the TV and basically act makes it kind of like a dual center, but it doesn't just send the same signal to both. It's actually filtering it so that the signal that goes to the TV isn't like your primary center. It just takes over enough of the duties to provide the perception that sound is coming from there. It time aligns them, it integrates them, and it filters them so that you get that sound. And the effect is pretty good. Um, in my case, what I was able to test is I have a Sony TV and I have a center channel mounted over it, and so, uh, it dropped the perceived sound field to the TV. But my opinion was that the sound quality between the two were so different that it also changed the sound and made pan sound less coherent and consistent between the left-right speakers, which didn't have that going on. I could see some people liking it anyway, and actually for things like news or background watching or kids stuff, I think it's fine. Like, I think it's actually kind of useful. Um, for, like, movies, it's not... I didn't think it was great, but I also don't think that the speakers that I'm using are the best speakers in the world. That's another thing to consider, too. It may be that the speakers you're using are not the best speakers, and brand doesn't necessarily matter. There's lots of good brands that don't make very good in-ceiling speakers. My experience is that the vast majority of in-ceiling speakers are quite bad, and it's disappointing. Um, so you may have something that seemed like it would be a good speaker, but really isn't, and isn't able to do a great job presenting information to you from the ceiling that's going to trick your ear into thinking it's coming from somewhere else. I think that in the last couple of years, there's become much better options. I've mentioned the Perlissons. I think that they're probably the best in-ceiling speaker for something like this because of the way they're aimed and how optimized they are. Um, I actually think that the new, newest Sonon stuff is not bad. I haven't had a lot of listening experience with it, but I know who designed it and how it was optimized, and I think that they did a very good job from what I have seen making it a better, a significantly better speaker. And I think Kef, at least in the upper end stuff, I've not heard their cheapest stuff and I've heard from other people who have heard it that it's kind of on par with other lower end stuff. Like it's okay, it's just not the best sounding. It's probably better than a lot of other stuff in that price point, but it's not gonna knock your socks off. But the high end stuff I have heard, so like the R series, the, the QR series and the reference series stuff, and I think they sound fantastic and I think they're very good. They don't aim like the Perlison does, but I don't know that that would change your perception of the sound field. They have, in their opinion, a wider dispersion. I don't know if that's true, but um, the dispersion certainly is different because of the UniQ driver. So I think that those are very good speakers. On the other hand, my experience with stuff from like Paradigm and Klipsch and trying to think Bowers and Wilkins and all those brands has not been all that positive. And I don't think that even their high end in-ceiling speakers are particularly good and do a great job of, of um, presenting like a surround experience in the ceiling. But again, no speaker is. There's, there's nobody, no, I don't care what they tell you. Nobody sells an in-ceiling speaker that when used for a 5.1 type system is gonna sound like a proper 5.1 system when you've dropped everything to the right level. It's better than nothing maybe, but it's not great. So sorry if that's not the news you were hoping for. Um, 
I guess I should also say this, even though the Sony has the ability to do the spatial remapping in a useful way, it's EQing isn't very good. If you were to do that, you might want to either use a subwoofer that has DSP built in that you can EQ, or throw in a mini DSP that you can use to EQ the sub. <coughs> Excuse me. You may find that doing that allows you to get better sound quality than Sony's equalization on its own can. Odyssey and Dirac are going to do a better job with equalization. They're just not going to be able to do anything with the fact that the speakers are in the ceiling. All right. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I got more videos coming. Remember, like my videos. It really helps. Subscribe to my videos. That really helps. And then these, I'm calling them donations, but payments for my time, I guess is probably a better way to put it, to answer these questions is also very helpful. Um, we have been behind for lots of reasons. My wife opened a new office recently. I've been traveling a bit. Um, we had hurricanes back to back, which put me very behind on work. And so all those things combined have made it hard to do this. And then of course my camera didn't, wasn't working. It was screwing up my videos terribly. Um, and so now I'm playing around with new cameras to figure out what to do next. So thanks everybody.